Hi, welcome back to another edition of Notre Dame Lacrosse University. Today we're going to talk about a ground ball drill within a six on six set, trying to teach our defensive players and our perimeter defensive players, short stick D middies, one way middies, to try to take more of an internal focus when within our six on six defense when there's a loose ball within on the front porch, which we designate as kind of goal line extended up as wide as the hash is on a football field and kind of 10 yards in. So that within a, the uh, offensive set that our opponents are running, that they're going to get shots from various parts of the field. Some shots down the alley, maybe some shots along goal line extended, and often those uh, shots will end up in a loose ball. And so trying to kind of develop the mindset of our defensive players to collapse inside into the front porch, find men, find the ball, box people out, not necessarily kind of taking guys down to the ground or, or yard selling them with a physical hit, but more just kind of boxing out, more of a basketball mentality. So if we can collapse on the people who are looking for the rebounds, then the next defenseman or next defensive player can come, scoop that ball and escape and get us uh, going the other end of the field. So let's go to the coaching points of the drill. You know, we're trying to teach a, a poise and an awareness of, of ground balls that take place on the front porch in that area that I just designated. We're trying to, to let our uh, defensive players know that that's not the time to break up field. That's instead of running up field looking for the clearing pass from our goalie, they should be more inter interior focused, coming down, boxing people out, not giving up any rebound shots or goals. That there's a man-ball communication that takes place. That not everybody can be chasing the ball, and not everybody can be blocking, uh, looking for uh, people to, to box out. That there needs to be an identification of roles quickly and that there's a fire call coming from our goalie. The fire uh, uh, terminology from our goaltenders letting our perimeter defensive players that they need to come into the front porch. Then within that kind of identification of roles that we're boxing people out and a defenseman or defensive player is going to come in and he's going to get that ground ball. And we talk a lot about first chance ground balls. We want to get that off the first bounce and the first attempt to scoop through. We don't want to be fiddling around with that ball right in front of the goal. And that we're going to play this out out of a live shot. So what we'll typically do is have our defensive players, depending on what personnel we have with this drill, we'll have our defensive players playing the role of offensive players in the drill, and they'll be going through a maybe a 20 offense, a 2-2-2, 1-4-1. Two, 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 one, we'll mix it up, often based on the, the sets that we'll most consistently see from our opponents. So here's what it looks like schematically. We'll set up right here. We're in a 2-2-2. Two, two, two. You've seen the two offensive players. On the, on the top, two inside, and two behind. And we'll just get some perimeter passing uh, going going around. And again, these are often defensive players playing the role of offensive um, or opponents. And then we'll have different, different players playing on ball. We've got a slide, we've got a bump, we've got a push. We have our perimeter uh, defensive players. Actually, I missed. Oh, there we go. So I'll circle the defensive players here. And the ball is going to spin around the perimeter. And then on my whistle, the coach can be, you know, visualizing this. He blows his whistle. And then whoever has the ball at that time, he's going to dodge into that space. So the ball's moving perimeter. I blow my whistle. This guy alley dodges down. We get a slide. Right? This guy's pursuing. This guy bumps over. This guy bumps up. And so now you can see how we're spread around the field. Shot takes place. Goes there. And now we got a now we got a ground ball right in front of the goal. So we need collapse from our slide rolls and our help defense. Now here's the, here's the ground ball, and the offensive players are creeping up as well. They're going to come in and attack on the loose ball as well. And now we'll do this both with one ball, and we may do it with five balls, including having the goalie throw one out here as well. So now there'll be six ground balls, and so it's creating a little bit of a. Chinese fire drill in that, in that moment where you're going to have to have communication, identification of roles, and scooping and escaping. So we can do it with one ball, do it with three balls, we can do it with five balls, we'll mix it up. We're going to try to create the mentality that there's an urgency, a poise, and an execution on ground balls in front of the goal. Thank you again for watching our videos. Please tell your coaching colleagues if they'd like to be on the email list to receive Notre Dame Lacrosse University drills, feel free to email us at gburn1 at nd.edu. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time, and go Irish. Slide, you throw the ball at the goalie. Goalie, you put that ball out as a rebound.
They're out throwing five other balls out. So there's going to be one ball that will play an offense, and then the five more are going to come in. You get the fire call, everybody gets the ground ball and escapes. What's that? Push these guys, push these Oh, oh. 